In this video, we will study the pathological features in Alzheimer's disease. First of all, as Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative disorder of brain, so on gross specimen you will see brain atrophy. Now for microscopic features, there are two specific histopathological lesions in Alzheimer's disease. These are neuritic plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. These neuritic plaques are extracellular lesions and neurofibrillary tangles are intracellular lesions. Secondly, neuritic plaques are composed of amyloid beta deposits and neurofibrillary tangles are made of tau protein. Now after learning the basic differences between them, let's come to their detailed histopathological picture. In cases of neuritic plaques that are extracellular lesions, you see a central amyloid core that is surrounded by dystrophic neurites. Dystrophic means degenerated and neurites mean neuronal processes such as dendrites and exons. So in this diagram you can see there is a central amyloid core and it is surrounded by dystrophic neurites. Now surrounding these are microglia and astrocytes. These microglia are macrophages and their duty is to phagocytose the degenerated matter. And these astrocytes will play their role in proliferation of glial tissue. So in neuritic plaque you see central amyloid core surrounded by dystrophic neurites and at the periphery there are microglia and astrocytes. Now the next lesion is neurofibrillary tangles that are made of tau protein deposits and they are visible as basophilic filaments surrounding the nucleus. So you can see in this diagram that surrounding the nucleus is a basophilic filament like structure that is actually a neurofibrillary tangle and these neurofibrillary tangles are made of tau protein. Now lastly the additional point is that in cases of Alzheimer's disease, there is positive immunohistochemical staining for two proteins, that is amyloid beta protein and tau protein. You know that amyloid beta protein was present in neuritic plaques and tau protein was present in neurofibrillary tangles. So the immunohistochemical staining for these two proteins will be positive. So let's revise the pathological features in Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's disease, there are neuritic plaques, which are composed of central amyloid cords surrounded by dystrophic neurites and there will be microglia and astrocytes at periphery. Secondly, in neurofibrillary tangles, you will see basophilic filaments surrounding the nucleus. And at last, there will be positive immunohistochemical staining for amyloid beta protein and tau protein. This concludes the pathological features of Alzheimer's disease.